Hi guys, welcome to The Tone Show. My name is Anthony Tone Nunez, and this is where I talk about movies, TVs, reviews, entertainment, popular culture, and anything else I can think about. So today, guys, I want to talk about the culmination of the Fortnite event, Hero vs. Aliens. I'm talking about the last episode of Arrow, which was called Invasion, and the last episode of Legends of Tomorrow, which was also called Invasion. So last we left off on The Flash, episode, again, Invasion, because they're real original with these names. Um, our heroes were teleported because um, that's what we can call it because it looks just like teleportation it looks like they actually um, used the, the teleporter off Star Trek and the Dominators which again the name the Dominators uh, kidnapped our heroes and put them in pods a la you know, comic book plot and that gave a great excuse for um, them to bring back Black Canary for them to bring back Oliver's parents which we haven't seen in so what since the first two seasons we haven't seen his father since the first season so that was a great excuse to bring back the actors and the characters and I'll admit it was pretty cool to see them since um, these characters were so important to the beginning of the Arrow, um, Arrowverse, and now, and now here they are. It was also a great excuse for the, for the um, for the writers to bring back Slade Wilson. Now we didn't see the actor, but we did see the um, the Deathstroke costume, and it was pretty cool to see that. And it was pretty cool to see all the um, the Arrow villains together, even though it was supposed to be kind of a, a VR experience where they're being proed. Um, prodded to get information but it was still a cool excuse to see a, a, a giant um arrow verse fight and that's exactly what it was and of course our heroes um make it their way back to the city i just want to point out the fact that i thought for a second that um that arrow was going to become batman because i thought his father was going to be killed by that mugger Th didn't that seem like we were watching um batman for a second like we've seen the origins of the dark knight so again the arrow verse kind of like borrows a little bit from batman so I thought that was, that was what was going to happen there. But obviously, no. Um, we had the new Green Arrow, which was Mr. Diggs. I like calling Diggs Mr. Diggs. And he came in, swooped in, and he saved, um, he saved Oliver and his father. So at the end, it was a great excuse to see, like I said, it was a great excuse on Arrow to see all our um, characters that we haven't seen in a while. Um, so Ollie's mom and dad. And of course, it was good to see um, Thea happy for a little bit, right? Because his sister is always... Um, she broods as much as Arrow does. It was really funny though, because Speedy, oh, this whole season, she's been like, "I don't want to participate." You know, I gotta, I gotta fix my own stuff up. You know, I got things I want to address. Oliver, oh, you're gonna fight aliens? I'm in. Like that, that just seems all of a sudden, right? Like they just jumped in there. It was really cool also to see the Flash working with the new Arrow recruits. That was pretty cool. Um, and Wild Dog is, is, you know, his typical Wild Dog self. Why does everybody have a problem with Kara? Have you noticed that? Um, I call it Kara, Kara. Um, everybody has a problem with Supergirl. Mix is talking smack about Supergirl. Wild Dog is talking smack to Supergirl. Oliver is not being happy to, friendly to Supergirl. What's happening with this, people, man? It's Supergirl. So it all wrapped up nicely because, of course, they were able to escape the alien ship. And I don't know what these aliens, man, they need to lock down. They need to get like um, some type of club for the for their alien ships. Because alien ships all the time are being freaking stolen. Right. So they escape. And um, and Legends of Tomorrow was was basically the, the episode that wrapped all this up. Now, I definitely enjoyed it up to this up to here so far. And I definitely enjoy Legends of Tomorrow. I'm not going to say I didn't enjoy the episode. But um, so basically they're saying that while our team was actually fighting them in Central City. All over the world, the freaking uh, Dominators were just kicking butt and destroying cities, and there was nobody there to defend them. It would have been cool if we had some other heroes, right? But that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not what happened on this episode. So, um, and another thing, why is it that aliens always come unprepared? Like, did you, did you guys check that out when the message was, like, we almost finished the weapon? Why is it that aliens always come unprepared? Aliens, if you guys are kind of coming to invade Earth, make sure that your weapons are ready, okay? Um, so, it was definitely cool. My, my favorite parts of the whole episode, obviously, was the little interactions. Like, I was talking about in, in my last... Um, my last my, my last video, I was talking about that the thing that I really look forward to is the little interaction between Supergirl and the Flash and Arrow and the interactions between the supporting cast. And we definitely got that. So it was really cool to see that, to see all our characters interacting and um, to see Felicity Smoke go back in time with a Cisco. That was pretty cool. And it was pretty cool to see that Cisco was starting to accept the Flash, even, you know, for even though Barry's always um, blaming himself. Trust me, Cisco. Barry spends a lot of time blaming himself already. So. He doesn't need you blaming him. 
even though he kind of did get your brother killed. But he messed up a whole bunch of people's lives too. If Diggle can forgive him for turning his daughter into a son, then maybe you can find a little forgiveness for your brother. That's all I'm saying. But it was pretty cool to see our heroes patching things up and to watch um, Team Flash patch things up too. That was pretty cool to see that at the end. So um, at the end, we also got uh, uh, kind of like an excuse for, for um, Supergirl to come back. She got this really cool, I would say, it, look, it looked like something from... Um, from Jared's <laughs> the pin but now she'll be able to travel back and forth a lot of us were wondering if she's on a different earth how is she going to show up well now we know how she's going to be coming back and forth and definitely the, the episode of legends was pretty cool because again we got to see our heroes together i just want to point out the fact that steel his costume looks a lot like captain america's costume and i don't know i, I would have covered the arms up like i would have covered the guns up a little it's really really bright come on mick, mick when he said the costume was a little bit silly looking he he, he wasn't kidding but it's again it's, it's real comic booky so you got to give it that so all in all, you know, uh, it started off really slow. I, I thought the first episode of Supergirl um, should have been called Invasion also, which it was. It was called Medusa. They should have shown more there, but um, it definitely was all smushed and started in the Flash episode. In Arrow, we got the plot moving more along. And I think definitely... Um, we, we definitely got our end desserts, and I really think that we all had a great time because when they finally showed up to Legends, I feel like the story was moving. We had the interaction that we were looking forward to seeing our heroes, and I definitely enjoyed um, Legends of Tomorrow this episode, I would say, more than the first episode of Supergirl because, like I said, it all pretty much came together. Now, the plot was as comic booky as you can get. The plot wasn't wasn't that crazy, but it was it was an excuse to bring our heroes together. And again, that's at the end of the day. That's what that's what I think we all look forward to as fans. And it was pretty cool to see the heroes take on the the, the dominators on that rooftop and just kick butt. And another thing that was really, really cool was, come on, we got to see the Hall of Justice. Now, why the Hall of Justice has a fountain in front of it and it's um, a, a runway, which is Star Labs. Like, I, it, hey, they had to figure out a way to put the Hall of Justice in there. And that's what happened. At least we got to see the Hall of Justice in live action. So that was pretty cool. So that's definitely uh, one of the things that I was um, checking out for in the episode. And I was like, wow, we got the Hall of Justice. Like, how cool is that? Really cool, in my opinion. So um, that's basically... Basically, my thoughts and opinions on the Fortnite event, Hero vs. Aliens. I'm definitely looking forward to the next crossover event. Hopefully, we get to see our heroes um, sooner than later, uh, combine forces for some other um, world planetary, um, I guess, threat. If you guys like this, definitely subscribe. I like to do reviews and talk about things in popular culture and science fiction. I love that. So if you guys want to hear more of that and share more of Tone Show, subscribe. Uh, this is a Tone Show, and I'm out.